Bend the knee. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? This is Don Willie back at you again with another No Frills review. Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 3. High Sparrow. Uh, this one is going to be non spoilers, uh, so you know you don't have to worry about um, finding out stuff that you don't really want to know about until you watch the show. So, um, we got Arya finally in the house black and white, you know, starting her faceless man training and finding out that she may be a little bit in over her head and she wasn't fully prepared for uh, the circumstances under which she was going to be uh, doing this training and also um, not knowing all the rules and stuff, right? Yeah, next we got... Marjorie and Tommen getting married, uh, having their, you know, their wedding night, and Tommen uh, being manipulated by Marjorie, and you know we have yet to see what the outcome of that manipulation could be, but um, you know it could turn out to work against Marjorie if she isn't careful. So. Um, <sighs> You know, next up we see a shot of the Boltons, and finally we get Theon uh, for the first time in this season. And Theon is looking way more disheveled than even before, so it's like, jeez, man, uh, him being Reek is taking a toll on him. Uh, and next up we get Sansa en route to Winterfell, and if you watched my predictions video, uh, yeah, I was right about the reason why she's going to Winterfell, but uh, I was wrong about uh, what they're going to be doing with her identity. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what's up with that and see how that plays out. Um, and also we have Brienne and Podrick who are still following who are still following Sansa. Uh, and Brienne and Pod get a nice scene where they're kind of, I guess... Uh, giving a little bit of their backstory uh, and telling how it is they came to be the people that we we meet in the show, you know, and and why it is that they're kind of so, I guess, duty bound or honor honor bound. You know, we get Stannis and John. Stannis still kind of disappointed at John not taking his offer, uh, and you know, we'll, we'll see what consequences that that has for him uh, at a later date, I guess, you know, hopefully it won't be too dire, um, you know, Davos is also counseling John and telling him, look, man, um, you know, sometimes you might have to do things that you don't want to do, and even though you're sworn to the Night's Watch, the Night's Watch is sworn to the realm. And next up, we have Arya, in the House of Black and White, continuing her faceless man training and getting tested by another disciple, I guess somebody who's who's also in training to be a faceless man. Yeah, next we get the arrival of Sansa and Winterfell and, and the look on her face, uh, meeting Bruce Bolton for the first time is priceless. Um, and Ramsey. I, I don't even know what to say about, about that guy. That is... Uh, <laughs> Ramsey, wow. Next up, we get John giving his first orders as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, and um, showing the men he is not playing. You know, if you don't follow his orders, there will be dire consequences. You know, um, yeah, man, dire consequences unless you follow that man's orders. Let's see here. We get the High Septon. Um, he gets confronted violently by the High Sparrows. He runs to Cersei for help. And while she says she's going to help him, I don't think she... I don't think he gets the kind of help that he's looking for. Cersei meets with the High Sparrow. You know, they come to an agreement of sorts. Uh, she sends for Littlefinger for what purpose, I'm not exactly sure. We get to see Kyburn continuing his experiments and there's a little uh, Easter egg for what's to come uh, with some of his experiments. 
Uh, next up we get Littlefinger and Roose Bolton strategizing and you know we have to see exactly what's going to happen uh, as far as how that is going to play out for the rest of the season and also possibly the rest of the series. Finally we get a scene that I wasn't even expecting at all which is uh, Tyrion and Varys. Um, so I guess those two finally arrive in Volantis. Varys is telling Tyrion, look, you still got to be careful out here. Uh, Tyrion, you know, still, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Cersei can't get to me. I'm too far away. Um, you know, look, man, people tell Tyrion all the time things that are for his own good. And sometimes he listens, sometimes he doesn't. He didn't listen this time and, you know, came back to bite him in the ass. So, you know, uh, hopefully it won't end up too bad for him, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I have to say that this uh, episode for me uh, was probably a 9 out of 10. And I say I give it such high marks, one, because there were a lot of the things that were pulled directly from the books. And then with the stuff that they changed, they made it logical and, you know... Look, I like the fact that some of the stuff that I actually predicted came tr uh, came true. So, you know, uh, always always a good thing when when you predict something and it uh, winds up happening. Now it didn't happen exactly as I thought it would, but you know, it's neither here nor there. It's close enough for me for right now. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll be doing a spoiler filled review. I had actually recorded. Uh, the non-spoiler and the spoiler last night, but they uh, wound up having terrible sound. Uh, for some reason, my uh, computer just decided it was going to record all the static in the world. So, uh, anyway, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, share, tell your friends, come back for more. That's been my time. Don Willie, I'm out. Yeah.